take number two. I deleted it by mistake. I basically pressed the button and it went away. Uh, welcome to Earth, um, Earthy Taurus. Welcome to my channel. What the heck is that guy doing? Oh, um, so I probably just posted a video on a uh, little holiday book haul uh, for you guys to check out. I've moved my desk. You can probably tell from one corner to the, of my house to the other. So I've got a little haul. Actually, it's a little bigger than most hauls. Um, so we'll show you. I got this. I don't know if you guys know what Pampered Chef is. But if you do, let me know if you've ever used one. I bought this because it was like 20 bucks, and I just wanted to help a friend out. They're having a Pampered Chef party. Um, so, I got, it's called the Ceramic Egg Cooker. I don't know. But here's the lid. And then here is the, the bottom. So basically, you put your eggs in there, your vegetable, whatever it is. The instructions are here. Like, I'll have to really read it. And then you kind of like mix it up and then put it in the microwave. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it's good. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to put it in my kitchen later. I'm going to wash it up first. But I'll put it on the ground so I can put it away. So I will start with, good lord, I don't know. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to start with. I will start, I went away this weekend. So I'll start with the stuff I got at the museum. So we went to the museum. It was, oh lord, I forgot the paper. Hang on. It was called, so it was in Penetanguishan. It's called the Penetanguishan Centennial Museum and Archives. We went to see, let me see. The history of one of Ontario's oldest communities is proudly displayed at the Penetanguishan Centennial Museum and Archives. Visit the 1875 Lumber Office and General Store owned by the late Lumber Baron and past mayor, Mr. Charles Beck. Learn about the importance of the logging industry to the town's beginnings. Um, so this is where I went. We went to go stay at the Beck house again. We stayed in another room, which was amazing. I love It was very serene and quiet, very different from the other one. But we did have connection on the first night with some divining rods. I got to use them for the first uh, first time, like actually divining, like not divining water or hydro or anything. And then the next night, the Saturday night, we both had a little visit on separate occasions and we discussed it like the next morning. It's very subtle. It's just a very mama needs to relax weekend. But I had fun. I, like, I want to go there again. So, of course, I went to the Wandering Cauldron again. But this is some items I got from the museum. So I got a grab bag for like two bucks. I think it was there was a mint spray, which I left behind. I basically, I don't, I didn't like the smell of it. Um, so I just left it in the bathroom. So that way they can use it as a spray. Um, I got this for my grandson. It's like, it's called mini wood catch ball. So there's a ball on the top and there's a cup. So you kind of like do one of that, do one of these and the ball goes inside there. I thought he, he'd think it was cute. Um, I, this was in the grab bag along with the spray. It's like corn husk dolls, traditional native craft artist, Steve Burnell. So that was cute. I thought I could put that in a frame or something. That's cute. Then I got this one uh, because of the fact that St. James, the lines of English church, Pentagon, Ontario, circa 1909. So I think the story has it that um, the body of his one daughter was here at this church. Uh, and then once... Um, he had purchased because he had purchased this, but he they were able to move her body to where her family was, um, which is amazing. I actually got to go see the cemetery this time. It was pouring rain the last time, so I got to go see the mausoleum. Obviously, it's closed, but the the Beck family is in the mausoleum, um, and in the front, uh, before you get to the mausoleum, there's some other Beck stones um, that died, like I think in the nine, uh, something like that, like earlier. Um, like it's the the later of the backs right the later generation of the backs and then right beside the mausoleum i climbed up the top and went down the other side and found um his oldest daughter his only daughter her uh cemetery plot with her husband right beside the mausoleum and there was like uh concrete going around like stone and on each corner it had the letter r to stand for her married last name so her and her husband are buried, and the rest of the family, that family, is right there on that plot. It was amazing. I was so happy. But that is originally where she was. So I got that, because I thought, I like postcards. I like old postcards. So then I got, because I'm into tea. I'm into sipology, if you guys know that. 
Um, I mean, just apology now. Oh, crap, I'm only on. So that's kind of like what I'm doing right now. Just apology. I love tea. Our David's tea closed down in our area. So I really needed a place to get my loose leaf tea from. So I started doing that. But I got a tea infuser. I have tea infusers in there. But you know what? I really like that because I had a dragonfly on it. It stands for transformation. So that's why I got it. So that is my little haul from the museum gift shop. All right, I'm going to kind of go back and forth. Today, I ended up getting, it was a very short trip today. Ow, oh, my foot stuck. Short trip today because my daughter forgot her house keys. So I had to hurry, finish what I was doing, get out of the store, go outside and wait for her to come and get the house keys. So the very first item that I picked up, hold on, I don't have any cardboard. So the very first item I've seen was something for my husband, for his altar, because he's native, and I thought that was so cute. It's a, it's a Louis Dion, um, I don't know where it was made, it says made in China. Yeah, I think it was two ninety nine for this. Yeah, and that's what it is, because his spirit animal is an eagle, so I got that. I think he'll like that. So every time I find little things like that, I tend to pick it up for him. Right there. Uh, then I have a cup and plate set for Santa. Okay. Um, and it's, I bought it when my kids were little. And uh, my grandson really loves it. And I didn't want to part with mine. So I was hoping that I would find something similar at the dollar store where I originally got it from years and years ago. But I could never find one. So I had told my daughter and I told my friend this weekend. Uh, my daughter last week, my friend this weekend, that I really wanted to find like this, like the one that if I could find the one that looked exactly the same, I would be happier. Um, so I've been looking in vintage shops and I haven't been able to find it until today, which was funny because I only had literally able to pick up two items. And these are the two items that I found right away. So it's like, it was the universe basically sent me there to get them. So this is the plate. There was two ninety nine for the set. So that's the plate. It says cookies for Santa. It looks exactly like what I have right there. Cookies for Santa. It's exactly the same as the one I have. He's going to be so happy. And then the uh, milk for Santa cup. So it says milk for Santa. So these two items are two ninety nine. It's exactly like Nanny's. So he is going to be one happy little boy. Um, that I have found that for him. I don't know what I'm going to do now. There we go. So I've got to make sure it's all wrapped and ready for him. To give to him. Then I went to um, the Wanton Cauldron. Actually, I'm going to save that for last. Because that's pretty cool. Um, then I went to the Dollar Tree. To pick up some items. So I picked up two of these Christmas boxes. One I know what I'm doing with. So there's one that's for my grandson. And this one I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. They're just boxes. Um, because my grandson, I'm actually gonna put his stuff right inside of it. I have other gifts for him for Christmas, but I always buy crafts for him. He likes crafts. So I always buy him a box of crafts. So this year I got for him. And you guys can do that, like, with kids, if you have, like, um, try to figure out what to buy for kids. Crafts are an awesome thing. He loves making, he's discovering, he can write now. He's starting to write now, so it's so cute. Um, but he loves making cards and stuff for different occasions. So I bought him a pack of six, it's six sets, so it's six cards and six envelopes that he can actually do himself. Um, so I got that for him. I want to go find some colorful ones. Then I got premium card stock, so he can make the big one. There's like um, blue, red, purple, black, and uh, pink, like a white. There, it's a card stock, different sizes that he can do for whatever he wants. Then I got him sticker that says "Bang, Boom, Zap, Kapow." That thought he'd like that for his superhero ones. Let me see what else I got for him. Got some cupcake stickers so they can make birthday cards. Um, for myself, I got um, this because I'm going to make some kits up. 
so it'll be easier to put in the container. Let's say silver, and then with the little window. So that will be don't know for what. It could be full moon and new moon. Not sure yet. Or Yule will be one of them. The gold one will be awesome. Um, I needed some more little baggies, so I got that. I needed some more, which um, they're for the new year, like instead of Yule balls or Yule ornaments, and you get to create them yourself. I do have to create the kits for it. I have them. And then I thought I had another sticker. Oh, this one, the robots. So robots, that will go in there as well. Um, actually, that will probably have to be bent in order to go in there. Um, I got another gold one. I didn't realize I got two. I needed some gift bags for Sapology because people want stuff. Um, I'm going to try my... Oh, I got Dory stickers. I thought he'd love that. Um, I thought I'd try my hand at cross-stitching again. I haven't done it in years. So I thought, what the hey, I'll do it. Um, I got Palo Santo. It does smell like Palo Santo. Candles. I got four of them. So I'm going to put them on top of each other there. Uh, I have uh, someone in our fam that loves brain teasers. So I got two different ones to attach to their gifts for Christmas. Um, I got an ornament. Because I like attaching ornaments to our customer appreciation draws and our host draws. And I got some Lindor chocolate. That was it from the dollar store. That's all over the place now. Oh well. Let me see if I can put the lid on this. Take this away. So there. I put all, everything in here for him. It's like all in there. That's perfect for him. He will love it. Uh, now, to start with the one in Cauldron. It's a witchy shop in Penetanguishen. It is amazing. I'm going to start with the bath bomb. It comes in a little container like this. This is for my grandson, actually, because he loves bath bombs. Um, he loves having baths at Nanny's house. It's a little cauldron, and the bath bomb's inside of it. This one smells like bubble gum. It's so cute. So that's for him. Yes, he is spoiled. So that's his. I'm just trying to pull things out. I bought, um, that was like two bucks. It's a crow. So I got a little crow bag. And the reason why I got that is because I got a pendulum card. That's on that side. And then that's on that side. I like it because it's small. And the fact that this is strawberry quartz. And that's what it is. Like it's very short line. Which I love because I usually have the long one. Um, and I like the fact that I can just basically do this. Hold it up like that. And um, ask it questions. And I can use my pendulum card. So that's why I got the crow bag. So I can put all this stuff inside of it. Like that. And it's mine. Uh, I got... There's two separate purchases there, so... This one is, it's called Hawthorns. I bought two and I gave one to my friend and you can use these to carve your candles. These are picked by the resident witch there, Mar uh, Melissa. So I am, I don't have that around here, so I am glad to pay this a couple bucks for it. So I got two of them, gave one to a friend. We don't have witches bows here. I wish we did, but we don't. These come from the States. So I bought a couple, I gave one to my friend because I want to use it in a grid. Also, I wanted to buy a couple more, but I forgot because I wanted to wrap, do it in wax. So I would love to be able to get my hands on some more witches' burrs. But this is a pretty good size. But I love it. So I finally have one in my possession. So that's that. Then I got... This is called Dragon Bone. Dragon Bones. High vibrational energy encourages one to see a brighter and harmonious future. Dispels negative attachments and entities. And repairs holes in the elect in the etheric field. Um, so that's what that is. If you can see that. It's dragon bone. I got two purple candles because I was running out. Trying to see. Oh, 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 oh. Um, and then I got uh, a moth. 
I like putting stickers on my computer. So I got that. Just trying to put stuff back in my bag so I don't lose it until I get home later because I got to work tonight. I got this. It's Pentacle because my friend was looking for it and I don't know if that's too big for her. So we'll see what happens. And then I got, this one is, I believe, from Africa. Let me look at the receipt because it says where it's from. Yeah, it's an African porky, ow, porcupine quill. So this, again, because I was asking her stuff about um, engraving in my candles. And I can use this. I can use either end. This is the sharper end. Like big time. They both are, but yeah. So there we go. I'm actually just gonna slide it back in here. So that I bought that. It's huge. It's like pretty big. So that's the African porcupine quill. And put that here. And last but not least, I finally got my witch's broom. So let me show it to you guys. So this is made but with cherry wood. Okay, so that is what that looks like. You can see that uh, he hand makes them. So he polishes them, he carves them, everything. It is, it was $85, but it's all handmade. I can't read what that says. But it is cherry wood because he does mark it on there. It's made with real corn as well. He doesn't know if he'll be able to get any more in because he's running out of corn and where he ships it from, he's having a hard time getting it. It is teal. This is the only one they had there. They had ones that were good to clean the cobwebs and stuff, really skinny, skinny ones with long handles and like probably maybe this much corn, not all that. This is the only one that was actually a workable uh, broom that you can actually sweep your house with, which I don't think I would, only in ritualistic ways where I'm cleaning my living room or something where my ritual stuff is. I would use it. Um, but yeah, it's a working broom. You can use it. And it's teal, which is one of my colors. I love it. Um, that has my, been my favorite color all year. And what way to end the year, but with an, uh, like a beautiful witch's broom that's been hand handmade. So not machine made, it's been handmade, it's very thick and durable, it's gorgeous. This is one of my, um, the last time I went there was one of my goals to spend my tips on a broom. And I did, you know, I did spend my tips on a broom. So that is my, oh, dude, I literally just got mayonnaise all over my, because my, I left the plate there. This is just peachy. Guys, I'm having one of those days. Um, ice man is good for the skin, right? Um, so that is my last find, I believe, from there, because I don't think I've got anything else. That was my last thing that I wanted to show you guys. Um, really, really happy with it. Uh, it's called the Wandering Cauldron in Penetanguish, and if you haven't been there, visit it. It's amazing. She's awesome. Um, and also the Beck House in Penetanguish is a great place to visit. It's not very expensive. You guys would have a blast. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, I'm hoping to put up some more videos in the coming weeks. I've just been having one of those, um, oh my god, it's winter and life sucks moments. Okay. Um, I could have sworn I had another bag. Oh, I did. It's right here. It was at a vintage store in Midland near Penetanguishet. Oh my god, guys. All right. So the first thing I got from there was the books were... 50 cents a piece at three for a dollar. So I got four books. Actually ended up being a whole series. I've never heard of this one. It's called Blue is for Nightmares. Lori Ferris Stolers. Stol so Blue is for Nightmares. And we got White is for Magic. And then Silver is for Secrets. And Red is for Remembrance. These are all uh, a series. All four of them in a series. So I paid a uh, buck fifty for all of them. Amazing deal. Uh, also picked up, I can't believe I forgot about this, guys. a little snowman, because I love snowmen, I think he was a dollar, the vintage store was awesome there, it was so cheap, I loved it, did not rip people off, there's two more items that I want to show you guys, I knew there was something else, yep, 
This one is a little potion bottle, also a dollar. Probably gonna be putting it into a kit. And then this, like you guys know, I collect these. Here is the lid. And I love the, uh, it's like a sun. So I'm gonna see if I'm, what I'm gonna do with it, it was $2, but couldn't pass it up, guys. Could not pass it up. So that is it for my haul, guys. I knew there was another bag somewhere. But that is it for my haul. You guys have an amazing day. Bye.